Have you ever had a device in your home that you wanted to automate but never found the right solution? Meet the SwitchBot Bot, a battery-operated mini-robot that can press buttons and connect to various smart home platforms. It's the perfect solution for automating those stubborn devices in your home that you can't simply connect to a smart switch and need to press some sort of button to activate. I'm going to take you through how exactly the SwitchBot bot works, how to set it up, how to connect it to popular smart home assistant platforms out there, what types of devices you can use the SwitchBot bot on, and full disclosure, SwitchBot did sponsor this video and provide us with the devices. All right, so how exactly does the bot work? First, like a lot of smart home devices, you'll need to have a hub like the SwitchBot Hub Mini, which will connect your bot to the internet for automation and control. The Hub Mini is sold separately and is easy to install. You just plug it in, download the SwitchBot app found in the Google Play Store and Apple App Store, create an account, and then pair your SwitchBot Mini hub to the app. One cool thing about the Hub Mini is not only is it a hub, but it's also an IR blaster. So you can train it to automate things around your home like turning on my fan which has an IR remote. But do note you will need to have the Hub Mini close by to your SwitchBot bot in order for that bot's automations to work smoothly. So I'd recommend having both in the same room. All right, now let's set up the SwitchBot bot. The device I've chosen to automate with my SwitchBot bot is my Breville Barista Express. And what's great about automating this type of device is typically in the morning I have to go turn it on 15 to 20 minutes before I want to use it in order for it to warm up. And with the SwitchBot bot, I can just automate that. So, to set up a SwitchBot bot, first you need to pull out the battery isolation tab and make sure your phone is nearby and has Bluetooth turned on. It should pop up in the app automatically and then you can test the bot to make sure it's working. Once you've tested it, you can give your bot a new name, save it in the app, and then go ahead and adhere the SwitchBot bot to your device, which in my case is my espresso machine, using the 3M tab on the back of the bot. SwitchBot does give you an extra 3M strip as well, which is pretty nice. The SwitchBot bot also comes with an additional add-on that can help the robot push or lift up a rocker switch's on and off control. But for this application, I shouldn't need to use that. If you do decide to use your SwitchBot bot on a rocker switch, there's a specific mode for that within the SwitchBot app that you'll want to enable. All right, now that I've got my SwitchBot attached to my espresso machine, let's go back into the app and make sure I can turn on and off the machine. Super cool. All right, so now that I've got that working, let's walk through how to connect SwitchBot devices to smart assistant platforms and automate my espresso machine. First, let's look at the Amazon Assistant. Go into the Alexa app and search for SwitchBot in Skills. Then just sign in with your SwitchBot account and Alexa will discover the SwitchBot devices you have and then boom, I can now control my espresso machine with the Amazon Assistant. Let's try it out. Hey Alexa, turn on the espresso machine. Awesome. Next, let's look at linking to the Google Assistant. To link to your SwitchBot app, go into the Google Home app on your Android device or iPhone. Click Add, select Set Up Device, and then select Works with Google. Then in the page that follows, search for SwitchBot. Log in with your SwitchBot account and then add your SwitchBot devices to your Google Home and select which room you want them in. Then you'll be able to control them with the Google Assistant. Let's give it a try. Hey Turn off the espresso machine. Okay, turning espresso machine off. Pretty cool. Now, note, if you add any additional SwitchBot products to your home, you'll need to tell the Google Assistant and Amazon Assistant to either refresh or resync devices in order for those assistants to discover the new devices you've added to your home and have them show up in your Assistant apps. Next up, let's take a look at how to link SwitchBot devices to Siri. Now, to do this, we're going to use Siri shortcuts. Tap on your SwitchBot bot, select Cloud Service, then select Siri shortcuts, and press the button to create a new Siri shortcut. From there, you can set up what you want to say to Siri in order to turn on and off your device with the SwitchBot bot. Let's see this in action. 
Hey, turn on the espresso machine. Okay, done. Now, if you use the popular smart assistant apps for automations and routines, you can add the SwitchBot bot as well as the Hub Mini to your smart routines and automations just as you would with any other device, like I've done with my Google Assistant routines. We did a how-to video on Google Assistant routines for those who want to learn more about Google Assistant routines, so make sure you check that out in the video description below. All right, and that's the SwitchBot Bot. It's a pretty versatile little device that can help you automate a lot of different things in your home, like light switches, coffee machines, pretty much any device that has a button or switch that you want to automate. About the only switch you can't use it for is the stick light switch common here in North America. If you'd like to learn more about the SwitchBot Bot or the Hub Mini or other products that SwitchBot makes, like their temperature sensor, remote, smart humidifier, or smart curtains, or if you'd like to purchase any of them, check out the links in the video description below to try SwitchBot. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and if you did and liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel to see more how-to videos on tech and home products. For Six Months Later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.